Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partner content creator for Expansive Worlds. And today's video is going to be focusing on the top five easiest diamonds to get on Trosport. Now there's some easy ones, easier ones. So it was tough narrowing it down to five before we hop into that. Do me a favor, there's a watermark icon over there in the corner. YouTube subscribe, you can either subscribe there or straight down below. There is a subscribe button below the video and a join button next to that if you wanna further support the channel. Although we don't expect you to do that, it is much appreciated if you do. That is totally your choice. There's some perks that come along with that. Now coming up, Fast is the 10,000 subscriber mark. We're going to be doing a celebration 12 hours. If we get there before December 31st, we are currently on pace to achieve that 12 hour stream. If we do it before December 31st, the bigger giveaway later is going to be the Xbox series X when we hit 50,000 subscribers guys. We can see here, we'll pull this guy in first cast diamond bullhead catfish 7.03 pounds coming in at number five the bullhead catfish and i never thought i'd see the day that this would make my top five because initially i struggled with the bullhead catfish i really did it was uh tough you know i remember torok kept screaming at me five liver darth five liver but that's a gold and i you know i was stuck in my head it's like no i can't i can't use a gold hook and it worked for him really well but i just could not get on about finally I come to this spot. And this was a long time ago when I caught one here, but this spot is still holding true today. We're at 1309 right now. I'd really like to be here around 15, 1600, but here's what's going to happen. A lot of times you come here early, you're going to catch a lot of these, the chub. So, but that's okay. You know, we're using six leeches. Now that's the silver hook, but I think we've got our first bullhead right here. I think. The shimmer is making it hard to see, but let's see. I think we've got our first bullhead, yeah, right there. But at eight, you come in here at eighteen hundred, you know, sixteen hundred on, you'll start seeing them just like several of them swarming your bait. Set it for eighteen hundred. The other day I set it for eighteen hundred. Come in here first cast, caught a diamond bullhead. So there you go. This one's probably a gold. Okay. Or it's a diamond, you know. All right, guys, coming in at number four, we have the Northern Pike. And you see here, we are at Pike Dock. And I'm holding the Grower X. We, you know, they get up pretty big. You know, let's, let's look. How big do these Northern Pike get? They actually get up to 48.5 pounds is the community record over in the official angler discord so they're huge mungus and they're so fun to fish for let me show you what i'm using on them guys grow rx of course true mediator 55 pound line number three now that's a bronze hook number three with the shad on it twitch you're actually going to twitch with these now, if you want to fish, if you want to float fish, throw a minnow on there. They'll hit that too. But I, I just like fishing this way. This is my preferred method. Now, here's another thing that you catch on this shad. Sometimes you'll get a surprise asp. I've caught diamond asp doing this right here. There we go, guys. We've got us a nice silver, 55.8 degrees. We're right in those temperatures. Do you want to move out? You know, earlier in the morning, you want to be up here in this shade of blue. But if you cast over in this area, you'll get those temperatures that you want. That's it. That's, that's all temperatures does for you. It's just kind of like where to cast at. Still use time of day. Use time of day and temperature to gather, and you can really kind of pinpoint Save yourself a few casts before you catch that diamond. That's all it is. Uh, you don't have to go by that if you're just like, no, we'll not do temperatures. That's fine. You know, the main thing is if you're having fun. No. Oh, it's a diamond. Diamond number two. All right, guys, as you see right here, coming in at number three, the Arctic Char. I've just caught so many Arctic Char diamonds, and they're a fun fish and a beautiful fish to catch and I'm not really sure I have equal fun catching on both ways I like to float fish for them 
So I'll throw a two leech on there. Now you'll catch a few brown trout here and there. I'll do that. Or I will use a number three spinner. Uh, it's fun either way. And throw that pro performance out there. Get them coming in. Hard to see them right now. But our first Arctic char is a silver 9.86. That's because we are using a silver hook. And we are right in the middle of those temperatures, guys. It's it's another reason is it, uh, just about any time of day you can hit these temperatures here. And right here is where we're at. We're down here. I'll, I like to walk out on this little island. And I've caught them here and I've caught them over here and I've caught them straight ahead. So just cast around depending on what temperatures you're getting. If it's running hot, then kind of cast straight ahead here or aim a little bit more this way and start hitting into that depth of water. Hello, my name is Darth Sloan. Do you suck at fishing? Are you struggling to catch diamond fish? If so, get yourself a Darth Sloan mug. Hmm, that's good coffee. You'll still suck at fishing, but you'll have coffee in a cool mug. It, some for some reason mutes the game sound too so that's why you're not going to hear the diamond music right now and all that but this is 50.90 pounds diamond and it is a in a new spot third location guys so atlantic salmon guys and this could have been interchangeable for me you know it could have gone up up a little more but you know, it's it's hard to rank them. It's hard to rank them here on, on these maps. And I'm sure everybody's going to have a different idea of what should have went where. But let me know in the comments. You know, if I left a fish off, I'm sure there's two or three fish that out there, you know, jivers would probably say, why is brown trout not on there? You know, I mean, everybody's got a different experience on that. But this is my favorite location for the Atlantic salmon guys right here. Now, known locations in the official angler discord, I guess they're just kind of leaving it. I, I told about this spot um, and did a video on this spot. It's right in between the two reported spots right here. A lot of people catching them here and here, but I'm telling you right here is hotter than both of those. I'm telling you right here. I mean, I just caught a diamond here last night on the stream and less than 10 Atlantic salmon. So, I mean, it seems like every time I come here, you know, if I spend at least an hour, I'm getting a diamond, it seems like right here. And, you know, just pay attention to those temperatures. If you start getting them a little bit too warm, then start casting over here in this darker stuff and that'll cool you down a little bit. For my gear, I am using the Grower X True Mediator. 55 pound line now they will get a little bigger than that they're i think in the top five up in the 63s the hulk hogan spinner for those hulk hogan biceps baby yeah but we got the two alt hulk hogan spinner right there and then occasionally i will move up to this three alt jerk bait after i've caught a few or if i look out there and i see a big one that keeps trying to bite and it just can't beat the smaller ones out, I'll be like, okay, we got to weed some of these out and I'll throw that through all three alt jerk bait on. Make sure to twitch when you use that one though. Seems like they hit it a lot better if you're twitching that jerk bait while you reel it in. All right, let's move on. Here's my diamonds. Always huge. Oh boy. 10.65 pounds. I'm a blonde, and I like diamonds, baby. Coming in at number one, none other than the Eyed, and we are down here at what we like to call Right Kigney. Now, it takes a little bit to get down here. You got to go up to this trailhead, summon a Jeep, come down through here, you know, but once you get down here, you can park your Jeep right there. That way, if you need to leave and go top your baits off or whatever, you can just fast travel right back we are using cheese. We're just using the number six cheese. Throwing that high impact out there. Several of them in there fighting over it. Forty-two point eight. We're in the temps right there. We got a couple of nice ones coming over. Biting, starting to bite pretty good now. Morning time was a good call. 
42.8 right in the bottom of those temps. All right, we switched up to a gold hook, I believe. Yes, this is a gold hook, and we got two. We had two fighting over it. So we at least have a gold here. There you go, guys. A gold eyed 5.65 pounds, 43 degrees right in those temperatures. But now golds will bite outside the temperatures. All right, guys. After catching a few, I like to throw on those gold hooks. We caught one gold there, and then I threw on a diamond hook. So we're just going to throw it on there while we do this outro here. We catch one, we catch one. If we don't, we don't. We get finished with our outro quicker. So that's, you know, that's the way we do things. Anyway, I hope this has helped you guys decide what are some easy diamonds that I can target on Troll Sport. That's the purpose of the video. Help you get some diamonds quicker. You may disagree. You may switch some around. You may add some fish. Speaking of, I'm going to do some honorable mentions. Asp. And here's the big one that I almost put in the top five. Bream. But I just knew that would bring the hate because there's a lot of people <laughs> that struggle with bream. But I'm telling you, I caught four bream diamonds the other day in no time. And I did a video on it. I really think the people that, that were just so scarred from <laughs> fishing for bream Y'all need to go give it another try. I'm telling you, since this baiting system has come out and these new updates, the bream are not as bad as they used to be. They've done something to them because they used to be really hard, but I really enjoy fishing them now. So you guys need to need to uh, check out the bream. But thank you guys so much. Let me know in the comments, guys, what your thoughts are. What's your top five easiest fish to get on Trosporit? And what would you change about my list? Do you agree with it? Would you switch some things around? Or have you had trouble with the ID? Do you think the ID is the easiest? It was tough putting these in order. But anyway, guys, it was a fun video to make. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you is the main thing. But do me a favor over there in the corner. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that watermark or straight down below. Hit that subscribe button or join if you want. But main thing is catch our live streams and come fish with us. And we have a good time. We laugh and cut up. We leave that negativity out and we laugh and cut up and we escape the world for a few minutes and get our lines wet, catch some fish. You know, that's what it's all about. You guys have an awesome one. My name's Dar Sloan. We'll catch you later.